All right, welcome. I want to show you how to animate handwriting that you draw as a vector and then animate it in After Effects. So what I have done is in Illustrator, I use my Wacom tablet and the pencil tool, and I drew um, with my hand or wrote with my hand just the word write. I think that the Wacom tablet gives me a little better uh, control over writing this, um, although you could just illustrate it yourself with a pen tool if you wanted to. And just so you know, you can draw this in After Effects as well. I just feel that doing it in Illustrator gives me better control and it looks better. Um, the only thing you have to make sure of in here is we have three independent uh, lines. So we have one vector line here. We have a vector line that is the cross of the T and a vector line that is the dot of the I. And what I did is I put these on three separate layers. So one is a individual layer dot on the I, a separate one cross on T, and then the word write. So once I have those, I save these as just a regular AI file. And then we'll hop over to After Effects. And in After Effects, I have the file right here on my desktop. I'll drag that over to the project window. And I will load it as a composition and build it on the layer size. The layer size in this case, I did make um, my artboard in Illustrator 1920 by 1080. So this will come in. And then I simply double click on the composition I just made, and that will open up the composition. So you'll see in here that I have the three layers from Illustrator. They come in as three separate layers into After Effects. Uh, you will notice as you expand these layers that they don't have extra controls that we need in order to animate this. So what we need to do is select all three of these, control click, and then go to create, create shapes from a vector layer. And that will give us three um, three shape layers, and you can just disregard these three um, for right now. So now when I open this layer up, you'll see I have this extra contents control here, and I have the add over here. So all that's really left is to take, we'll start with this, uh, with the right, the larger um, word right up here, and we will add, and we will go down to trim path. So what this is going to do is give you a separate control here for trim path. And then the way this works is you will set up your first keyframe here for end. And we will click on the stopwatch here next to it. That will set it up. We'll set this to zero. And you will see that that word right kind of disappears as you set this to zero. And let's move it forward just, let's say, like maybe two seconds. And then we will set a second keyframe, and we'll push that to 100% on the end. So now you see that that will write. Play through that for you. And that writes through. So then you would simply do the same thing to the other two. And if we, I'm thinking if I would do this, I probably would do the dot on the I first uh, after that. So I would do trim path and do the same thing where I would, I'd probably want to move this over, <clears throat> move this over just until right when this finished, give it a little pause. And then I would start this here, set that to zero, move this over and move this up to zero. And so then I will have this will write, and then we'll have the line there. And then a little bit past this, we will do the same thing with the T we'll add that trim path to it. And in here, start here, set this to zero, move that over just a little bit, bump that up to 100. And now you see this will write this dot the I and the T. And then of course, you can play around with this. Looking at the T, it looks like that's going a little bit slow. I want to speed that up a little bit. And we will tweak this. You could, of course, change the colors as well to make this whatever you want. Um, so it's a little bit more visible on here. Uh, let's see. Here's this one. I'm going to tighten this one up just a little bit, too. 
And then when I cross the T, I'm going to bring both of these back just a little bit. And that probably is going to look a little bit better. And that is how you animate handwriting in After Effects using something drawn in Illustrator. All right. Thank you.